All right, we are live today. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. Why do JavaScript developers use Fusion Charts for data visualization? Hosted by Fusion Charts. So my name is Raj Vieira. I am marketing manager at Fusion Charts. We'll be moderating today's webinar. I am pleased to introduce uh, today's presenter, Andres, our senior sales engineer. Before I hand over the mic to Andres to kick off the webinar, I would like to take a moment to remind you that this webinar is being recorded and will be available to be on demand on the Bright Talk platform. Additionally, we will host the Q&A session at the end of the presentation. If at any time during the webinar you have a question, please submit it via questions banner. Andres, you now have the floor. We all know not only is data important, but how we show. Hello, I am Andres Villalba and I am a sales engineer at Idera Inc. Today, we will be learning how JavaScript developers use Fusion Charts for data visualization. As we all know, not only is data important, but how we show it is key. Having the perfect representation of data for your apps is as important as the information itself. We will follow Alex and his team on their search for the best JavaScript data visualization tool. Although we will be talking about my friend Alex, this is something I personally relate to. He is the head of development at his place of work. One of the most common requests he gets from management is to create reports, charts, and KPIs with the data coming from the company's database. This is time consuming. So he decided to create a couple of dashboards with the most common requests. Alex knew he had several options. They could create their own charts using plain JavaScript and the HTML canvas or he could get an existing charting tool. He decided to first try doing the charts themselves. So he tasked Jonathan, a member of his team, on creating their first dashboard. It took a few weeks of Jonathan's time to create it. It wasn't the best looking, and working like this was time consuming, expensive, and hard to maintain. It was time to look for a better solution. His team was proficient in both Angular and React, which would come in handy in selecting an existing charting tool. He tasked Jennifer and Jonathan, two of his best developers on the team, with helping him with the search and evaluation of existing tools. After a quick search, he found dozens of options, anything from subscription-based tools to open source. It took some research and debating, but finally, Alex and his team selected three tools, Fusion Charts, High Charts, and AM Charts. Now that they had selected three tools, it was evaluation time. So Alex assigned a tool to each one of them. Alex came up with a few evaluation areas. What they needed to find out was, what did the plan include? What kind of features it had? Was a license required for each developer? Can it be integrated into common technologies like Angular and React? Can it be used for both web and mobile applications? Does it have add-ons? What kind of support do they include? And are there any support plans? Can they be used for dashboards? And finally, what the price is? And if they offer in different plans, which is the best for their team? Jonathan, the junior front-end developer at the company, was tasked with reviewing high charts. He found out that it was a multi-platform charting library that makes it easy for developers to add interactive charts to web and mobile projects of any size. It had several modules, JavaScript, Stock, Maps, Gantt, and Advantage. And it could be integrated into different technologies like .NET, R, Java, PHP, Python, Angular, React, and Vue. Alex himself would look at AMP charts. He found out that it was a modern, slick, and fast chart library straight out of the box. It also had several modules like charts, maps, stock chart, and demos. It could be integrated into TypeScript, React, Vue, Angular, or plain JavaScript. Jennifer, the senior front-end developer at the company, took a look at Fusion charts. She found out that it was perfect for web and enterprise applications. It is used by over 28,000 companies. And it has over 100 charts and 2,000 maps. It also includes several modules. Fusion Charts, Fusion Widgets, 
Power Charts, Fusion Maps, Fusion Time, Fusion Export, and Fusion Grid. And it could also be integrated into JavaScript, Angular, React, Vue, jQuery, and Ember for the front end. Okay, now that they had an idea of what each tool did, it was time to compare all of them. The first thing to compare is the basic plan. As we can see here, high charts includes only the JavaScript library. AMP charts includes version 5 and 4, and Fusion charts includes several of its own modules. As we can see here, both high charts and Fusion charts includes only one developer seat per license, while AMP charts include unlimited developers. And while high charts has unlimited websites and unlimited internal applications, it doesn't allow in its basic plan to create web applications or customer installations. While AMP charts allows us to have multiple developers, it only allows us to create one public or private non-SaaS website. Fusion charts allows us to create only one single product and internal apps. On integrations, we can see here that high charts is a little bit limited. It does have grappers, add-ons, frameworks, and mobile support. We don't have any of those on AMP charts. And on Fusion charts, we have integrations for both front-end and back-end. One thing that Alex is looking for is the creation of dashboards. And while we can create dashboards ourselves in all of these tools, only Fusion Charts comes with templates and examples pre-created for us. If we go to Fusion Charts website, we can download the code for these examples. As we have seen so far, each basic plan varies a lot and the pricing varies even a lot more. High Charts is 152 US dollars per seat per year. AMP Charts is 180 and it doesn't expire. And Fusion Charts, it's $499 per year per seat. Okay, now let's look at the price with add-ons. In this case, I will be looking at a more professional plan for each of these tools. Let's say we select High Charts and we add Stock, Maps, and Gantt. Now, it'll be $765 per seat per year. If we look at AMP Charts, and we add maps and stock chart, it will cost us 5,400, but it doesn't expire. And if we look at fusion charts, we don't have to add anything. It already comes with all these options in the box and it will cost 1,299 US dollars for five seats per year. What about support and updates? Well, in the case of high charts and fusion charts, while the license is active, you have updates and professional support. But in the case of AMP charts, you have to buy the access to AMP charts support staff. In the case you need platinum support, you don't have that option in high charts, and fusion charts costs only 499 a year, while AMP charts charge you separate for each tool. After looking at all the data, it is time for conclusions. What Alex team found out is that AMP chart cost a little bit more than the other two. High charts cost less than Fusion charts, and Fusion charts comes with more services and tools. Also, AMP charts and Fusion charts give access to the source code. Only Fusion charts includes dashboard templates. Both high charts and Fusion charts have several integrations. Only Fusion charts includes add-ons for free. And while all of them gives you support and updates, their pricing varies a lot. It's been hard for Alex to choose the best tool. All of them have pros and cons. However, from features and price alone, Fusion Charts appears to be the clear winner. But before he makes his final decision, he must test the tool first. Okay, let's look at those dashboards. All we have to do is go to fusioncharts.com slash dashboard. Here, you will find a lot of templates. As we can see here, we have the Smart Energy Dashboard. We also have Sales Management, SaaS Dashboard, and many more. 
I have pre-selected four so that we can see some examples. So Fusion Smart is one of the ones we like to show. As you can see, they're interactive. We can click on them. Uh, we can see details by mousing over. And we can change the data real time. So as you can see, we have pretty much interesting data here. Also, uh, I have here another dashboard that is based on a map. Here we can select routes and it will give us information about them. Let me reset. Let's see, for example, from Seattle to Boston. And it will give, you, give us option of uh, duration and fare. We also have an expense dashboard. As you can see here, I can uh, filter by state, or I can take uh, those uh, options there and just leave all states. And we can see here that we can get a lot more information on different types of charts with different options on all of them. And I also wanted to show you an example of a mobile dashboard. So here we have some basic charts by revenue, by units. And I can also go to summary and see some other information. Okay, and this is how it would look. They look great and all, Alex thought. However, Let's see how easy it is to create a chart inside of Fusion Charts. Okay, let's build a quick example just like Alex did. The first thing we have to do is load the Fusion Charts library. We also need to load the theme we're going to use. In this case, I'm just going to use the Fusion theme. Our code must be inside a script, a script tag. And uh, while we can get the data from the backend right now, all I'm going to do is create a basic uh, variable where I'm just going to put their data for each month. The, the chart I'm going to create is just a basic uh, user data, but I'm saying uh, the month of January, 190 users enter the website. So let's do it just really, really fast. Let's say January. February, March, April, May, and June, July, August. Uh, let's say September. Let's just uh, this first uh, nine months. Let's put some values here, whatever we want. Let's say those values. And next, what we have to do is to actually create the uh, chart variable. So I'm just creating a new variable. And let's first specify the type. So what I'm going to create is a column 2D. Then I have to specify where this is going to render to. So what I'm specifying here is the name of a div. Uh, tag, so let's create it. Just gonna put here ID, and it should be the same name. I'm gonna specify the actual size of the chart, so I'm just saying 100% width and a height of 400 pixels. I have to specify the format for the from the data. So in this case, this is a JSON data. And um, also, I'm just going to specify some extra data for the uh, chart. So let me just uh, add some basic uh, data here. So I'm specifying, specifying the data source and the chart labels. So here I'm just going to have a caption. I'm going to call this users per month. I'm going to add a sub caption which is going to be unique users. 
and all this is in our dev center so you can change you can check the name of the variables and the uh, keys in there the x uh, axis is going to hold the months and uh, the y axis is going to be the user count however 120 users 190 users is too low just gonna say that those are actually uh, thousands. So I'm going to add a number suffix, which in this case, I'm gonna say K. So if we see 90, it's gonna be 90K. And then of course I have to specify the, the theme, which in this case is fusion. And what I'm missing here is the most important part. I have the chart data, I have the chart config, but I have to link, link them together. So inside of, inside of the data source, I'm just going to say data. And I'm going to put the name of the variable that has the data. Once again, this information could come from anywhere. And we're almost done. We have created our chart config JSON. What we need to do now is basically just uh, call fusion charts. So when Fusion Charts is ready, I'm just going to run this anonymous function, which is going to create this variable here. It's going to load the chart config, and it's going to render that. And that's it. Let's see how it looks. Let's reload. And there it is. And as you can see, it's running. It's, it has tooltips. It has the title we set up and everything is ready. Of course, this is saying trial because I'm using the trial version. But if I have a valid license, the, uh, the watermark will be gone. Finally, Alex and his team have chosen the best tool for them. Fusion charts, price, features, support, and ease of use were the deciding factors. All we have talked about took place a couple of months ago. Alex and his team built several dashboards in the first month of buying Fusion charts. Management is happy with the results. They now have a place to look at their KPIs in real time. Before I let you go, I would like to show you some uh, links of interest, like uh, where to download the free trial, where to see our dev center, uh, white papers, and so on. If you visit the Fusion Charts website, you will be able to find a lot more details and information about our product. Um, in a second, I will look at different uh, products, but you will find here some of our customers, um, more details, uh, and some examples. More examples, uh, more information about the Fusion Chart libraries against open source libraries how it is easy to set up, more features, so on and so forth, more, more about licensing. Uh, some quotes from our customers. And most important, you will be able to check each one of our suites. In our presentation, we were looking at the Vision Chart Suite XT. If I click on it, I can see a lot more detail, a lot more examples there. You could even see uh, how everything would look in different uh, themes. If I keep on going, I can see a lot more information like integrations. As you can see, as we talked before, we have integrations for the front end and for the back end. The one I showed you, it was just a basic JavaScript. Uh, so I invite you to come and visit. Anyways, uh, if I go to developers, here I can go into the dev center. And here you'll find all kinds of information on how to create your own dashboards and how to create your own uh, charts. Uh, for example, this is where you find the smart energy, energy monitoring dashboard. Uh, what I showed you before was the live dashboard. But you could also download the source code or you could get a license if you don't have it. 
if I keep on clicking on next, I can see a lot more uh, different uh, dashboards. So keep this in mind. Also, let me go back. You can find documentation, for example, if I want to see how to create a, a fusion chart inside of React, I can click on here. I'll get how to install it and how to create your first basic chart. So as you can see, uh, we have a lot of documentation here, even if you don't contact support. Uh, also here you can see inside pricing and you can see the different uh, plans we have. Uh, during the presentation, we talked about basic and pro plans on an annual uh, subscription mode, but you could also check on perpetual. And uh, as you can see, we also have an enterprise license. So uh, go on, check it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, contact me or the Fusion and Charts team. And if you want to try it, you can also go to download and just basically uh, fill in your information and you'll get a 14-day free trial. You can just download the uh, JavaScript files or you can use NPM if you want to. So uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you. Thank you all for your time. I hope you enjoyed Alex's story. But now let's move to the Q&A part of the presentation. Thanks, Andres, for the nice presentation here. It looks like we have a few questions that have been submitted. If you are still with us and have a question, please submit it via questions panel. Uh, Andres, I know you have covered this, but just a quick question here from one of uh, uh, we were, what's the best place to find documentation on Fusion Chats? Uh, thank you, Raj. Uh, yeah. Well, of course, we can Google and, uh, and find information, but uh, inside our website, we have the Dev Center, and that's where we can find more information. Uh, the URL is just basically Fusion, sorry, fusioncharts.com slash dev slash fusioncharts. Wonderful. Uh, Thanks. No Thanks, problem. Andres. The next question we have here, is it possible to integrate technology stacks with Fusion Charts? Yeah, that's a great uh, question. Thank you, uh, Raj. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can actually choose for more, from more than 10 front-end and back-end integrations. And some of them are Angular, React, Vue, jQuery, PHP, even Ruby on Rails, ASP.NET, Django, and, and, and there are some others. Uh, and we actually also have a, a URL where you can find uh, information on that. But uh, the easiest way is to just look for Fusion Charts integrations uh, and take the first link. Got it. Thank you, Andres, for the quick answer on that. So one more question we have regarding the licensing here. Um, how to remove Fusion Charts watermark in charts? Yeah, uh, well, I I only talked about it a, a little bit on the presentation. Uh, I showed the uh, the trial edition and then how it looks without uh, without it. Uh, of course, we need a key, and we call that key inside. Um, uh, Oh, sorry, uh, we need a key and then we provide the key inside our code. Uh, but the best way to get this uh, license activation is also to go to fusioncharts.com slash dev slash fusioncharts. And there uh, we can look for upgrading and license activation. It's usually a long key, uh, but once you get it there, uh, your project will run without a problem and the watermark will be gone. Got it. Thank you, Andres. I think uh, no we are just about out of time for today's webinar. Um, I think I would like to remind everyone today's webinar was recorded and you will be receiving a follow-up email with the link to the recording shortly. Once again, thank you for attending today's webinar, and we look forward to you joining us next time. Have a nice day. Thank you.